Getting to net zero is going to be a challenge for all of us. Uh, and around the Immingham site and the Immingham asset, we have a plant that will generate up to 5% of the UK's peak uh, electricity requirement. It serves just over 25% of the UK's refining capacity. So it's an incredibly important asset to uh, provide for decarbonisation and to, to play our part in terms of getting to net zero. The Philips 66 Humber refinery has supplied essential fuels and products to society for more than 50 years. We manufacture petrol, diesel for vehicle transport, but also um, products that are used in the chemical processing industries. We also make graphite coke, um, which is an essential component of lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles. Um, and what we need to do is to work out how we can continue to supply these products that society will need in the, in the energy transition but supply them in a decarbonised way. The skills that we have developed within the refining industry are extremely relevant to carbon capture and storage and we believe that that makes us very well placed to effectively deploy here at the Humber refinery and to make carbon capture work. For this phase of Humber Zero, um, we will be capturing and storing 3.8 million tonnes of CO2 every year, which will make it a, a first of a kind, a world scale project. Um, and we'll be hoping to have that online in the mid-2020s. The Philips 66 Humber refinery would be the first refinery in the world to use carbon capture and storage for capture of emissions. It presents new challenges from a technical point of view, from a regulatory point of view, from a societal and policy development point of view. Um, it is a flagship, a first-of-a-kind project. The UKRI funding has been essential in enabling us to do this, to progress and dedicate resources to the development of the project, which otherwise just would not happen. This project is really a world-leading initiative to be able to decarbonise a complex, world-scale industrial site across both Philips 66 and VPI Immingham together as the Humber Zero project.